What if I yeah. told you this is my real life house? <gasps> are you really? Are you? Are you serious? Hello everybody, it's Panda and today we're going to be building my real life house. Before you say anything in the comments like, oh my gosh, your house is huge. Is that a mansion? No, it is not. It is a family sized house and the upstairs is a guest house so we rarely use it. And everything is mostly on the main floor and the basement. So let's get into the video. So before I began recording, I asked Lash to come help me and place these stairs to make it look like the house is on the ground because I needed a basement and Bloxburg doesn't include basements, so I had to use creativity and make it. First, this is the driveway of where you come in. Then I have like a little plant stationed outside, so I'm trying to remake it with all these plants. Also, this video is a little bit more sped up because it is like an hour long and I'm sure most of you aren't going to be watching this whole speed build because who wants to watch a whole speed build? But I mean like it is my real life house. So everyone in the comments have been asking me for remaking it. I wanted to do it for the 50k special but it took too long so I just decided to try doing something else. Instead, this will be to celebrate the panda wanda habitat growing super fast. Also, this is the entrance of the house where I have steps leading up to the doorway, but the steps didn't really work out because you know the door is like on the floor or whatever. So I just used my imagination and tried to remake it as best as I can. Over here I'm making the patio area which we have going around the back which will then lead up to the guest house. Over here I'm mapping out where the place we have a lot of bushes with these fences and then we have like a trash section for like the trash cans and whatnot to go outside. Pretend the trees are bushes, okay? <laughs> Use your resources. Over here we have this like very tall bush plant with lots of flowers. 
I went outside purposely to take a picture of the flowers and try to put it there on that ID code. You will see in the tour or when I'm building how bad it looked, but I kept it there because I felt accomplished putting in a real life picture of the bush with flowers. <laughs> oh my gosh. Let me just say that I do delete a lot of things and I recolor everything because I didn't like how it looked. I wanted this to be as exact as possible as I said before and sometimes I would say, oh this looks nice, but wait, that doesn't fit the real life house. So that's what I did. <laughs> Outside over here we have this black colored chairs and tables so I added them in. Then I started building my favorite part of this build which is like the garden area. It's like underneath the patio from the upstairs guest house and I felt like this was the most identical thing in this build. So I love this part. Then over here we have like this stone walkway that leads into the backyard and over here is all dirt with lots of plants and lots of bushes so maybe that's where I get my addiction of plants? I don't know to be honest.
And in this video, if there's a lot of random pausing, that's me checking my phone for all the images that I took of the house before I started building. So bear with me, please. This is the part where I started having major problems because I couldn't like wrap my head around how everything in the house looked from this type of angle and rebuilding it because of course I'm not an architect so um, it was a little bit difficult but I finally had my dad come and help me lay everything out so big thank you to the panda dad. Off camera, I built a garage lower and begged my dad to keep helping me since I literally had no idea on what to do. Of course, he said sure, so <laughs> thank you. And now we're setting out the layout for the kitchen, and that's where we walk into the house. No, another, just another counter. No, I can do a bookshelf. <laughs> you thought there was going to be music. If you see this, comment hashtag cringy knee slap guy. This doorway will now lead us to the dining room. My dad said it was this color red, but I thought it was the darker one, but if you don't, okay. Our house is very colorful, so enjoy the bright colors. And here's the dining room table. Wow, what a surprise, right? <laughs> okay, that was over dramatic.
Then this dining room table in Bloxburg is my favorite. Literally, we have colorful chairs to eat at dinner, at like for a meal, and then the table is pure wood. I think I might use these colorful chairs ideas in more builds because you guys are saying, please move away from your style, try more colors. So that's what I'm going to be doing. This house has inspired me. Thank you so much, house. I love you. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. Then over here, I'm building my dad's closet. Now the hallway that I'm building will lead to my bedroom with my siblings' room too, because we share, and then the bathroom and my parents' room. So this is mine and my siblings bedroom. We have like lilac colored walls, which I don't know. We just decided for that color. So that's why we have it. Great explanation. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Here will be the bathroom. Actually, the bathroom looks a little bit too big. The bathroom, real life, isn't that big, but it aligns with the house, so I have to keep everything the way it is, not making extra walls and whatever like that. So there are some things that look a little bit bigger than supposed to. I tried my best. That's all I could do. <laughs> Blacksburg doesn't really have bathroom supplies that you could put on bookshelves or any shelf, so I just decided to put books, um, perfume, and some mugs because, I don't know, you brush your teeth, you want to spit out water, use a mug! And now I'll be continuing with my bedroom. So over here on this wall we have two desks, one for me, one for my sibling. Then is a closet, which is like closed in. We literally have things separated, so the left side is theirs, the right side is mine, and yeah. Then for the desk areas, the left side is mine, the right side is theirs, and we have like shelves going on the side, and they are separated. They have a computer on their desk. My computer is downstairs because mine is the laptop while theirs is a desktop. I have lots of books on my shelves, including lots of pandas. So if you see me putting picture frames, that's what I'm going to be making them. Then I add in these drawers because the desks have drawers and we also have spinny chairs, which is great. We also have bunk beds, but the thing is that 
you can't make a bunk bed unless you use like a second floor so I just put it into two separate beds. Over here I'm going to be adding a makeup station which I will come back to after enclosing this closet. So this makeup area both me and my sibling share. It has one mirror and the left side is theirs, the right side is mine. I don't have lots of makeup, maybe a few things. And then we also have another mirror just in case you wanted to close up. Then for the beds I made the pink one representing theirs and the green pillow to represent mine because my favorite color is like green, blue and all that stuff, you know. And now we're moving on to my parents' bedroom, which is the hallway. It has a door. They have a mirror right where you walk in, so I just recreated that. It was a little bit difficult since I had to put these lights all around because it had the border, but, you know, we got there. Then as you can see I got some difficulties and challenges of all building because one wall was a different color while the other ones was another color so I had to rearrange some things and remake it like that. Then over there is like a walk-in closet. I'm trying my best to remake their bed, but they Bloxburg didn't have their bed style, so I just technically made it up best as I can. And now moving on to the walk-in closet, I'm trying to remake it. It's a little bit difficult, the doors aren't the same, but you know, we can live with that. It looks pretty much pretty good. But the problem is with rebuilding my house or real life house, I noticed that it looks really empty compared to my actual house. So if there's like a room that looks too big and really empty, it's not actually like that. I just didn't know what to put in it because I wanted to make it look realistic so if there wasn't a plant I wouldn't put a plant so yeah that was a rant I'm sorry about that I'm talking too much now okay let's keep going <laughs>
now I'm going to be adding some kitchen appliances because we need appliances in the kitchen. <laughs> Over here is another storage closet, then we're going to be adding another doorway which adds to another one. This is like a hallway that just goes straight into the living room. And over here is like the main entrance of the house. The other way is like the back entrance, but we use the back entrance more since it connects to the driveway. But yeah, that's what I'm remaking. Now I'm making the outline of the living room, another room, and an office space. This room is going to be the office, it has some closets and some storage on the sides, then it has the super long desk area for pretty much anything like paperwork and all that. Then right in the middle of the living room, we have a fireplace with some windows at the top, then TV stands on both sides, and then finally adding in some couches. So the next room is like an extra bed for anyone who sleeps over or something like that and it also has like an office so it's like a bedroom slash office both at the same time. Then over here I put a piano because they don't have a keyboard and my siblings play the keyboard. I also added in like a stool bench for my instrument but they don't have my instrument there so I just put my bench just to symbolize it. And now I'm going into the basement space. First I'm going to be outlining the house with the garage and then just the whole house in general. Over here is going to be closet space, the tool room, the garage, all those different types and run. I'll explain it as we build. Right now I'm just adding in where the bathroom is going to be, where the laundry room and the main one. Then at the top, I'm adding in the guest house. We'll go back to the garage sooner or later. So I'm just outlining all the bedrooms and all the rooms in the guest house, like the top floor.
over here is going to be where the kitchen is. And now I'm working on the bathroom. The bathroom actually looks bigger than it really is, so that's why it has so much empty space. I feel like the upstairs looks bigger than it actually is, because like the master bedroom isn't that big in upstairs, so... And now for the kitchen, there is a lot of counter space, so I do add lots of counters, the hood on top of the stove, and then some windows. Over here is where the fridge is, some more counters of course, it literally goes pretty much around. I'm adding in the flooring, and then I'll be adding in some appliances along with the dining table. Then the patio area, aka the entrance of this upstairs, I add in some grills, an umbrella, a table, and that's pretty much all we have outside, along with some windows on the walls. As soon as you walk in, there is a living room, so that's what I'm remaking right now. Just added in some windows to both bedrooms and this one is going to be the smallest bedroom on this guest room house top floor. <laughs> so there is like a little heater over here so I just put desks instead. Then it has a double bed with a night table on its side. And then in the corner it also includes a closet. Then we also have another mini storage area, so that's what I did there. Next, we're moving on to the master bedroom, which also includes a huge walk-in closet, so that's what I'm remaking right now, with lots of clothes. It's actually not this big, nor is the bedroom, but because of how I built it on Bloxburg, it looks huge. On this corner, I added a desk area, and over here near the entrance is where, like, a makeup station, not a station, makeup desk, whatever you want to call it. Since the room looked too plain and too big, I just added in a bunch of bookshelves on this wall because I'm like, you guys are going to complain of this being too big because it's like really wide open. I also added tons of ID cows or ID codes, I just said ID cows, um, on the other wall because I had no idea what to put there.
Now I start adding in some lights everywhere because you don't want to forget that before we are done with the speed build. So, yeah. And now we finally move on to the basement, the last part we need to decorate. Over here is going to be the garage, literally garage where you put your car. We have a lot of storage shelves for like food, canned foods, all that stuff. So I'm going to ask Lash later on to help me and store them. Thank you so much once again to her for helping me even though she had no idea what this build is. We also have some cars, a bike. For some reason, the part where I recorded me decorating the basement didn't save, but I continued to build. Not everything is decorated, but we got there. Now I'm going to be adding in some roofing. Literally, all you need is like three pieces of roof because the house, yeah, you get what I mean. Just watch and you'll understand. <laughs> Why am I trying to explain this? And now we are done with the roof and the coloring of the walls, so I'm going to be doing like the front yard right now, coloring in the grass. Soon I will understand that I needed two different colors because I needed to add something in. The front entrance also has like this roof piece sticking out to give it some shape, so I added that in. Next, we have a pathway leading into the front entrance and also the walkway, so I added in some baths, carpets, literally what I use every time to make a path because I'm obsessed. Oh, here's another addiction. My strange addiction. Actually, I just remembered I didn't use any fairy lights because I don't have any fairy lights on my house, so successful panda this time, yes, round of applause. There's also a lot of bushes surrounding this part where I'm like outlining right now, so we're gonna place them! I just realized, the bushes took a while to place, so let me bless y'all by saving time. There we go, the bushes are all done. Now I'm going to be placing all the trees how it actually looks, so I have three trees right there near the entrance, then I remembered! Oh my gosh, Panda, you forgot the best, not the best, the major pathway leading up to the front door. So I had to readjust many carpets and make it look like it's like a brick thing, brick pathway into the front entrance.
By the way, if you're wondering why I zoomed in on the recording, it's because someone asked me to take out something they said in chat because they didn't know I was recording, they didn't even know I was a YouTuber. So, that's why. I'm sorry that it looks weird, but you could still follow along if you happen to build my house. Wait, I just said, yeah, build my house. Why would you build my real life house? I mean, like, unless you really love it, you're welcome to, but okay. See, this is the part that I remember. Oh, yeah, you have this little patio area outside, so you need to make two floors. There we go, Panda. Congratulations. You are successful in making a path now. Why do I sound so overdramatic? I'm so sorry for all the people still watching this speed build. And it's an hour long, so why are you still here? Oh, yeah, because you love me. Thank you. I'm so sorry to everyone still here. Then over here on this patio area, we have not a picnic table, just like an outside table. I don't know. But like, it has an umbrella. I forgot the word for a second. And then plants are over here surrounding the entrance and the whole front yard. Next over here is like a garden where we grow tomatoes or blueberries, literally pretty much all we grow there. So I'm recreating it by putting fencing all around it and having that green space which I will now put plants on and vines growing up the side of the wall with decals. And finally, now we're going to be finishing up the driveway and including the two cars that belong to the guests upstairs. Ooh, and here's the last part of the build, the backyard. One of my favorite parts because you, well, I get to recreate the turf area for the hammock where we have and then we have a swing set and a slide area thing that I used to play on when I was little and pretend I was like adventuring out in the wild. Oh wild panda <gasps> in her natural habitat. <laughs> that was the most cringiest thing I have ever said but I'm gonna keep that in the video. Good job. Over here is going to be where the swing set is with some pillars and a seat. I also needed this to buy a slide but then I remembered you need a pool and you couldn't really see the pool with this grass laid over it so I had to play around adding more pools so most likely it added to my total cost but you know what I didn't want to delete this grass again because it was kind of getting on my nerves. I also then realized the slide doesn't touch the top of the second floor, so I just added in these steep stairs, not really with the stair outline, just like a ramp, and it worked out pretty fine. You could still use the slide, which I'm happy about. And here we go with my swing set. I'm actually pretty proud because I never saw a video of someone making it. I'm pretty sure someone made a park, but I never saw the video. So I literally just made it up from what I had in my inventory and bought it all together. Now I'm adding in the cars, which I talked about earlier, and that's pretty much it. We have some more trees outside that I forgot to add, so that's why I'm adding them in. Just some last minute details, over here is all dirt area, so I just put mud piles and piles of mud. Did I just say mud like three times? Yes, most likely. And literally there's trees all around and lots of nature outside, so I just added in that randomly. To finish up the outside and pretty much the whole build, we have two sheds, 
and one is gray, one is red, and over here is where we have the log pile. I'm adding in the hammock, and here's the first shed, coloring it some simple colors. Here's the second one, which is near the swing set, which is gray, and just putting in some bikes, what's inside, and yeah. So we're pretty much done with the build, now it's time to tour and see the fans reactions when I tell them this is my real life house.
Okay, guys, 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 now listen. What if I yeah. told you this is my real life house? What? It is. Yeah. Is it? Yeah. What, what if you told us what? This is my this real, is life, real house. life house. <gasps> are you really are you, are you Are you serious? Yeah, are we made it. Panda, you're rich. No, no, no. It's <laughs> The top, the, the top, the top is a guest house, so we, we, oh. it's, yeah. That's your IR. You want to see where I'm sitting right now? You, Panda, please why I have your address and just come and visit you every day. <laughs> Give me your house. My bedroom. Is this your room? Yeah. Whose room is this? Me and my sisters. But the thing is, we have a bunk bed, so I didn't know how to make that. This is exactly where oh, I am right now. This is nice. Hey, hey Panda, at least it's not that crowded because Who turned it off? Panda, we are we are watching you record. Look at me. Look at me. <laughs> <laughs> She's just like standing on the wall. Do you need your toy right Yeah, I do. I have another channel. Yeah, yeah, she. Oh, cool. And then she has another channel. I, I, I checked out your tour. I'm, I'm so, I'm such a non-super fan. I didn't know that. Right, yeah, sure. So in the house, yeah. Can you go where your dad stands? Uh, yeah. he must be right here. Follow. Your dad's all the way up, Panda. Does your dad like playing Roblox? Yeah, he does. And does your I'm, dad I'm assuming watch? he's over here. Like, okay. Right in this spot. Watching. The news. Yes. What? No, okay. he's not. He's watching Unicorn. Okay, guys, guys. You're gonna do the outro for me. What's the outro? Outro. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching, people. Goodbye. If you enjoyed this video, click that subscribe button to be part of the Panda Wanda Habitat and click that bell to be notified of when I post. Could you be the first to comment? Panda Girl is out. Thanks for watching. Bye.